So, uh, should we do like a quick like warm up? Five in a row, high fives. Ready? One, two, three, three. four. One, two, three, four, five. That Whoa! was good. Nice. So ready. Hey, brother. brother. And welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we are taking on the hardest half blood Prince Harry Potter quiz. Cat has informed me. I, I have her in my ears right now. She's saying, call it book six. Oh. <laughs> book six. The because hardest Christ. Harry Potter book six quiz. Let's dive on in. Hey, brother! In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the microphone. She's waving, but you can't see her. And she's going to be reading us today's 10 plus an additional five questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. As usual, Ben and I will have to answer all the questions completely from memory, but we can get the multiple choice if we both feel like we have just absolutely no idea. There's also a link to this quiz in the description down below if you'd like to play along with us. Are you ready? I don't know because normally I feel like Kat has like a lot of faith in us. So like one of the hardest parts about doing the J versus Ben stuff is that like we don't really get a say in what the ultimate like content of the show is right because we can't vet the questions we can't, beforehand yeah. like this and, is an adequately difficult question right yes and so it's always interesting to me because everybody in the office sort of has like their own barometer if you will yeah, as for like, like what how, counts yeah like how smart are the are the guys how so, smart are they i know and it's like and sometimes it's like there's such a hard question you're like wow you guys thought so much of us but also but also. We don't know. So anyway, apparently today's quiz is one of the hardest that we have taken in this book series quiz that we've been going through. So I am very curious to see how it all plays out. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Question one. Question one, and I think you know what it is. What is the name of the sixth Harry Potter book? The spelling count. Yes. <laughs> okay, you ready? One, <laughs> two, three. And Severus Snape. <laughs> yes, the half blood prince is correct. Nice. Severus Snape. Harry Dumbledore. Potter. <laughs> Man, it's like that Potter Puppet Pals video has like permeated my life in a way that like I like could they have known? No, there's that no it way. Would do what yeah. it did. I, I, I like. I'm curious if anybody else has this problem. Oh, there's no way if you're a Harry Potter a fan problem. and you've seen Potter Puppet Pals, it hasn't like colored your like impression of all the characters. Right. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. I feel like whenever you do Snape voices, whenever we're reading Snape. like book, yeah, yeah, you're like, what about me, Dumbledore? Oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely do the Potter Puppet Pals voice for sure. That's the official Snape voice, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, official I would agree with that. Yeah, there you go. Question two. Who is Ginny dating at the beginning of Half-Blood Prince? Well, oh, the beginning of Half-Blood Principles here. Oh, I got you. You know, yeah, ain't no it's... big, ain't no big thing, man. Okay, I think we got yeah, this. Yeah. I got this. Yeah, One, right. two, three. Dean Thomas. Dean Thomas is correct. Booyah! Not Michael That's Corner, right. which is what I almost wrote. Yeah, right. they were yeah, dating in uh, Order of the Phoenix. OOTP. And yes. broke Oops, up. Cool. And then he dated Cho Chang. I don't know if that's in the books, but I saw it on Wikipedia. Yeah, I think that is true. I think that is true. Mm. Um, I don't remember that, but it seems like Ginny and Cho were like the the top catches in the whole school. Yeah, it yeah. does seem that way. Obviously, both into Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Also, both play Seeker. Yeah. So true. for being the best catches, like if you want to be a main character in wow, the series, good, good. you need to play Seeker. You need to play Seeker. Like yeah. Seeker is the quarterback of. Oh, for sure. Of, yeah. of Quidditch, Quidditch yeah. rules. Yeah, I would definitely um, say that. The other thing about this particular scene, though, because I think Fred and George ask Jeannie, and they're like, are you or are you not going out with a boy called Dean Thomas? Yeah. It's like, what do you, as if you don't know Dean? Yeah, right? Like, he's <laughs> in Gryffindor. He's like, lives yeah. with Ron. You should have known him for like four years now. Yeah. 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 They do the exact same thing when they ask uh, if Ron is going out with a girl named Lavender oh, Brown. Lavender Brown. It's like, you know them! You, yeah. <laughs> the common room's not that big, okay? It's not that big. And now it's time for the first Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Bellity and voted on by patrons. Bellity. Bellity. It reminds me of uh, the song that opens in the movie Wally. -E, yeah. But. Barnaby. Barnaby! Yeah, exactly. yeah. Listen, Barnaby. I love that musical. Should we do a have it? quick cat's favorite musicals ranking real fast? Oh gosh. Um, I think Into the Woods has always been like my number one favorite. I had the most fun um 
doing that particular production when I was a youngin. Um, Hello Dolly is my other favorite because it was my granddad's favorite. Oh, yeah, and he sung Hello Dolly at my uncle's wedding. Sweet. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty cute. Which person did Hermione consider taking to the Slug Club Christmas party other than Cormac McLaggen? Uh, oh, 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 I got it. And this is not like Ron or Harry. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to make Ron <laughs> jealous. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Before Harry Ron. suggests that they go Duh. as friends. Right. Yeah. This yeah. has got to be it. Yeah. Oh, Harry. One, two, three. Zachariah Smith. One of the other catches. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, you know it, yeah. right? Uh, Zachariah Smith is correct. Boom. Does he play Seeker? No. no. He does he the commentating. He does. Yeah. He does. He's the, he's the, he's the worst. He, is he the made worst. it onto our <laughs> list of people we hate more than Voldemort. I, it occurred to me that we, I don't think we put Rita Skeeter on that list. What? No. I like, think we did. How did we not like, do that? I know. I was like, whoosh. whoosh. <laughs> I've been rereading the books and I'm like, yeah, we missed some. We missed some pretty vital. We missed some big ones. <laughs> yeah. No, no, because I think the whole point of that video was to pick people who you don't even think of as villains. That's true. You yeah, know? that's true. It's, it's like and these, these people are just yeah, and um, yeah. <laughs> you can't have it was that the list. villain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Question four: When Dumbledore collected Harry from the Dursleys, what drink does he give them? When oh, Dumbledore. Okay. Oh, 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 you know it? Yes, I yeah. do. All right, I did not. Proud of you. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see the answers. This is another know. one where uh, I think that we had a question on a trivia stream recently. Oh. I'll explain more after we turn. I okay. did not remember that. One, two, three. Madam Rose Mertes Finest Oak Matured Mead. Wow, that is way more than the quiz had for, but yes, Oak Matured yeah. Mead was the answer. Yes. <laughs> um, I recently had some mead for the first time, and I gotta tell you, I was not a fan. Not a fan? Not uh, a the fan. The only time that I ever had mead, I was completely unaware of the uh, incredibly high sugar content and yeah. had the worst hangover of my entire life. Yeah, wow. isn't it from, Honey. 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 Yeah. 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 So what I was gonna say though is I think on a trivia stream recently we had a question that was like, what is her like iconic drink? And I had like oh. the oak matured mead. Mm -hmm. And because that's that is also the same bottle that is poisoned and like tries to go to Dumbledore. Yeah. Is the same thing. Uh, but I think I, I put a variety of different other meads, and I think one of them was mulled mead. Mm. And I'm pretty sure that you can also like a bunch of characters order mulled mead from Madame is mold Rose. just like hot? I don't know what mold means. Uh, because is all like, I know is like mold like wine is like hot wine. Yeah, there's like it's Which like sounds a, gross, but I it's think really it's good. Hot and it's like sometimes you can have like mulling stones and you like drop it in and it releases the flavors into it. Oh, so stuff like that. Yeah, okay. it's like okay. a spiced wine. I you know, yeah. you know a shocking amount about me. <laughs> well, I've know. only ever had it for the first time <laughs> recently. Well, I just you know I enjoy libations in general. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Have to have Jay versus Ben. Madam Rose Mead yeah. cocktail Mead edition. challenge. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. Ooh, yeah. Maybe the challenge is we both have to come up with our own like magically enhanced strengths and we don't tell each other what we're doing and then we have to show off and see who's is cooler. Oh, all right. That sounds fun. Okay. Question five. Who is Ron's competition for Keeper at Quidditch tryouts? Oh, man. This was an easy one that I threw in. Oh, <laughs> kangaroo cat giving us a little, little softy. I know. All right, right. ready? Which we kind of already answered it earlier, but not really. One, two, three. Ron's own self doubt. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> honestly, the real answer. Ron's the real answer. Cormac McClaggan. Cormac McClaggan. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Yeah. There, man. That whole, we made a video once upon a time about the Felix Felicis talking about Ron's self doubt and whether yeah. or not Felix Felicis also does something. And if you read through Half-Blood Prince, there are a bunch of moments where Harry does things and he's like, without knowing to, or without knowing why, he blank. And like, it's like weird because like Luck is actually playing like a rather large role in the book. Yeah. And now it's time for the second Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Helen Sidney and voted on by patrons. Horace Slughorn is hiding in a house owned by muggles when Harry and Dumbledore arrive to recruit him. Where are the muggles vacationing? Oh, uh, I think I got it. I think I got it too. Hey, good. Y'all are doing better than I thought you would. You haven't gotten any wrong yet. Okay, okay. is this right? right? 
One, I don't know. Two, three. The Canary Isles. The Canary Islands. Yes. yes. Boom. Excellent. Yeah. Russian it. You did great. Okay. It is technically Canary Islands, but I'll give it to you. Yeah. I yeah. wrote Islands. You did. I saw that. Okay. I'll give you a brownie point. Canary if anything, Islands. I actually was like, oh, it is Isles. <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot tell you anything about the Canary I'm Islands. I'm pretty sure it's I Islands. Yeah. I don't know a single thing about them. I don't know where in the world they are. Me neither. What they do. They sound and nice. why they're so famous for their canaries. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Sounds like one of those places that like Darwin discovered and he's like, all the canaries here have evolved differently. This is amazing. How about that? Yeah. I'll call these the Canary Islands. Yeah. And muggles will vacation here. Exactly. <laughs> if you know anything about the Canary Islands, let us know in the top. Tell us all of your fun facts. Below. Should we visit? Probably. Work trip. Question number seven. A poster for what product was displayed in the window of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes? Oh, oh. Um, okay, okay. I did not know this. <laughs> But then I looked it up and I saw the like whole thing and I was like, yeah, that, that, that I remember that now. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, okay. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. You know poo. You know, you know poo. poo. That's right. It's like, I can't Ben did get out. the spelling correct, so oh, he gets another brownie point. I think, yeah, sure. Yes, take your brownie point. <laughs> 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 and you should be worried about you know poo. Yeah, the- The constipation the, the, sensation that's gripping, gripping the nation. Yep. It's like- <laughs> That why, I did remember the after word I- gripping. <laughs> gripping. Uh, why would you, why would you have self-induced? I don't it's like, like it. The, it's no, like no, the, it's you should be worried about it because other people are doing it to you because it's a prank. Uh, yeah. yeah, people. <laughs> Here's I, the prank. I thought people You're were, constipated. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Hilarious. It's a real slow burn. Of yeah. <laughs> it really is. Like, you just gonna have to like talk to someone like a week later, like, how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. A little backed up, are we? <laughs> it was me. We've talked about me. We've talked about the bathroom. I feel like these are both reasons why I've left before. Okay. Uh, if I could just. I'm okay. On, All right. Yeah, I'm out. I'm gonna let it go because I'm pretty sure he's doing a honey ad and you know, mead, it really works. Hello and welcome everybody to the scenic group where as ever we need to get to serious business, hiding the honey. But as ever, in addition to hiding Jay's favorite mead ingredient, we also need to tell you about today's sponsor, which also happens to be Honey. And I'm gonna be absolutely honest with you, every single time I find a deal online, I feel just like on top of the world. Like I've just won like a tiny little lottery or something. I honestly just simply love a surprise deal, and with Honey, searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past, meaning every single time you go to check out, you're in surprise deal territory. Because again, Honey is a free browser tool that actually scours the entire internet for the best available promo code for wherever you're shopping, and then just automatically applies it. It's so easy. And I'll tell you what, I buy such a huge variety of things online, from household essentials to gifts and food. And let me tell you what, Honey almost always has a deal for food. Like just this past week, I was having friends over for a little get together. I was ordering pizzas and Honey scored me a 30% off coupon code that saved me so much money. I literally just spent the extra on extra garlic bread. Meaning that this little gathering with my friends had extra garlic bread. And what is better than extra garlic bread? Answer, nothing. Nothing is better than extra garlic bread. Plus, I know that we are all on the go and Honey is not just useful if you're sitting at your computer. You can actually use it on your iPhone as well. Simply load the app inside of the Safari browser and boom, you're saving on the go. Guys, if you don't already have Honey, you could just quite literally be missing out on free savings. And by joining, you'll actually be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show at the same time. So head on over to joinhoney.com slash J versus B and get Honey absolutely free. One more time, it's gonna be joinhoney.com slash J versus B. It is absolutely free, and the link to do it is in the description down below. Well, Ben is off no doubt hiding my honey, putting a layer between me and enjoying my beloved coffee as usual, which is actually kind of perfect though, because it reminds me of today's other sponsor, ExpressVPN. I mean, come on, it's 2023, you know about VPNs, you know you should be using one to connect to the internet. But even when you know something smarter, the fact is it adds an extra step, and sometimes that extra step can be way too much. 
unless you're using ExpressVPN. Because ExpressVPN is the easiest way to safely and securely browse the web. Like it is so easy, it is it, it does not qualify as a hassle. First of all, what makes ExpressVPN the right VPN is that it's just blazing fast. Like other VPNs can slow down your connection and it makes it the, like that brand new gigabit internet you just paid for feel like what was what was the point of that? But ExpressVPN does not lag, does not buffer. And literally all you have to do is open it and press one button and then bam, you're protected across all devices. So easy. I mean, it's literally set it and forget it. Once you have it on, you'll just forget you have it on. But in the meantime, your connection will be secure, your data will be encrypted, and you'll have access to content outside of your region. So stop what you're doing right now. Head over to expressvpn.com slash jverseb and get an extra three months free when you sign up at expressvpn.com slash jverseb. One more time, that's expressvpn.com slash jverseb for an extra three months free. Link is in the description down below. Hang on, I can get back in, hang on. Yeah. It's not that hard. It's not, it, you know, actually it is hard. You should just sit like that. All right. <laughs> Hang on. Y'all think we should ever just like move the camera back a little so you can move the table up a little? No, no this is fine. Is that, that, okay. no, no, we don't move the camera. Cat. I'm, I'm, okay, I, okay, the, okay. The camera can't move. I feel like I'm in like third grade. Yeah. Leaned up against the wall in my elementary classroom mm -hmm. in like a workbook. Yeah. You know, like exactly. You do like a word search. You oh. should stay like that for the rest of the game and see how your legs feel after. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can you feel your butt? <laughs> we'll see. All right. <laughs> Question number eight. What was the name of the only book that Hermione could find that mentioned Horcruxes? Oh, oh. man. Because we just wrote about the actual book yesterday that tells all about them. Mm. What was that book called? That was called Secrets of the Darkest Art. Okay. Okay. And I have an idea. Oh, do you? Okay. This was all I was going to put no matter what, but... We'll see how it goes. It could, it could, it could possibly be correct, or it may not be. But okay, I'm gonna <laughs> say it's spell, on. spelling will get you two brownie points on this one. Hmm, that makes me feel like I'm really not right. Okay, <laughs> I think I know what she means, and that makes me feel better. Okay. 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 Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Magic most evil. Magic most evil. Uh, Jay got the spelling correct, but yes. Boom. Correct. Yes, with e. a K and an E. Yeah, it's M A G I C K. Oh. So you just had K. I just but had K. But it is M O S T E E V I L E. Oh, okay. so I didn't get mo. I got. I got partially oh, I I more e correct. At the end of so you get one brownie point. Okay. Magic. Ben gets no brownie points. Most no. But Ben brownie. does have two brownie points, so. So I'm still winning in that department. Yep. Okay. I've got well, plenty whatever. of brownies. Yep. To go a boot. I'm like people with you know poo. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have not gotten any incorrect so far. Crushing it. I'm Woo! really proud of you guys. You're doing great. Thank I think you. I am. Oh, I can't, I can't even say it. Yeah, don't jinx yourself. And now it's time for the third quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Ben Henderson and voted on by patrons. I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> you can you can change positions if you'd like. Do you think I can? Do you think I can? Or, I or mean, you you're welcome to. to bit, I don't know, you know if you physically can. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I, mean, I got this. I got this. There you go. Just started marathon training this week. Oh, oh. that's right. I forgot about that. You have been doing it. We're good. We're good. You We're got back. you need you some Advil. <laughs> oh, my, I feel like my kidneys hurt from where I was pressing <laughs> it. <laughs> what are the three D's of apparition in the correct order? In the correct order. In the correct order. Oh. Okay. I think <laughs> I'm I think I am. I am positive I have the correct three D's. I just don't know if it's in the right order. Okay. I always struggle with this one. And I feel like every time I listen to it, I even like try my like, best to like digest. Like I, this feels like trivia. Digest is not one. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. good, good, good. Yeah, Helpful. good to know. Yeah. Um, what you got, bro? I don't know. All right, one, yep. two, three. I said. Destination, determination, and deliberation. Oh, okay. I have the exact same thing. Oh, okay. 
Destination, that order? determination, That is correct, and, and that is the correct order. Oh! Is it real? Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, I'm deliberating on whether or not yeah. this is the next right word. Man, that is awesome. Wow. I was... I was so proud of you guys. I feel like de determination and deliberation feel like very similar. Yeah. Question number 10. You know, in all these quizzes, we gotta have a what color is someone wearing, oh, so... No. Why is the... Why with the robe? Why? So uh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not robes this time. It is what color pajamas was Horace Slughorn wearing when Harry and Dumbledore paid him a visit? Mm, when... Oh no, when Harry... Okay. Um, I um, mean, this is what this Kate... Is... I, man... This is what comes to mind. I know. Yeah. I, I don't have a good reason behind it. It's just yeah. what I think it is. So ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Striped blue? Oh, I said blue pinstripe, so. See, the weird thing about this is this is the color that you always associate with Gilderoy Lockhart. It is lilac. It is lilac. It's lilac. What? No. <laughs> Slughorn reads Lockhart? I'm not surprised. I guess. I'm not surprised I you, know, you know, at one point, Slughorn was like displaying Lockhart in his little like he oh, display oh, case, Oh, that's right? so true. Was Lockhart part of the Slug Club? Ooh. That's a good question. Mm, you're because right. it's like, it's. Because Slughorn had a knack for finding these students. For finding these students. And that, like, even though Lockhart didn't do the things he said, he was talented in that he pulled off lying about it. Yeah, but was he talented, like, <clears throat> in school? Like, does he ever, no. like, is he ever talked about as, like, a particularly talented student? No, no he's but not. He is, he is no. surprisingly a Ravenclaw. Yeah, he is. Like, oh, that is true. Yep. Yeah. So it's like... But I think I think he ends up just being extremely good at memory charms, and I yeah. think that's pretty much his only accolade, other than like an underlying like ambition and. He does sign his name across the entire Quidditch pitch once. Yeah, he what? does do that. Yes, yep, he goes that's like a, it's like a prank or something. <laughs> what vanity? <laughs> Signs it how? I don't know, like in the ground. In ink. No, like, I don't know. In magic. In magic. <laughs> okay. Sp <Hash>. Sparkles. <laughs> Come on. Sparkles. Yeah, probably with sparkles. That fits. Question 11. What was the name <coughs> of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement employee whose memory we see in the pensive? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I got it. Really? Um, mm -hmm. Yes. All right, good job. I did not recognize this name at all. One, two, three. Robert Ogden. Bob Ogden. Yeah, Bob Ogden. Bob, Bob Ogden. Ogden is correct. You are correct. Woo! It is you guys one are doing great. It is one of the rare instances where I'm <clears throat> not totally sure if Jim Dale nails the voice. Oh yeah, you're right. He's like, kind of like nasally. He's well, then you could hardly blame me for not knowing you were coming or something. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's like, but he's head of. Magical law enforcement. Yeah. Is that the department he's in? Mm -hmm. And it's like he's an employee there. In the question, that's what it says. He might be the head. I don't know. Okay, I think he is the head. Okay. I think he is the head. But like it it doesn't fit in my head the kind of like gruffness that might come with that or right. like like air of confidence, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But I think it's supposed to be like he's uh the way Jim Dale does it, it makes it sound like he's someone who could be intimidated by the Gaunts or something. Yes, that's yeah. also true. Yeah. That's also true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, and now it's time for the fourth Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Logan A. and voted on by patrons. After Aragog's burial, Slughorn and Hagrid sing a song about a wizard. What was that wizard's name? Oh, got it. Gosh, I can't think of what it is. Yes. This is my chance to surge ahead. Maybe. Come on, we've had two Ben wins. You can do it. I know. You can do it. We got this, Jake Han. I know. Oh, man. I can even, like, hear the song in my head. I think it ends, which was sad. Um, I don't know, and I know this isn't it, and I can't think of anything else, so... Something, something, one, two, three. Odo? You were really close, but it uh, is Odo. Yeah! Boom, boom, boom. Odo the Odd. Odo the Odd, oh, that's what I wrote. The Odd. I think, Odo. I think it is. That's not in the question, but. At least that was close. Close. At least we're close. Be, and it's, it's another one of those instances where like clearly my brain was like, like it found 
the folder yeah, and right. you can like feel the contents. It's like, you know, and it's like, mm, okay, like, yeah. sort of. Send him a funny three letter O name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I know Og is like the former gamekeeper. Right, and it's like, yeah. we know who that is though. Don't send him that one. It's like, yeah. we're safe. We don't I was about to say, it's like kind of similar to the last send question we out. had because of the O. Sound. Yeah. Yes. Ogden, yeah. I think Ogden. Ogden, maybe, Ogden. That's, maybe, maybe that was influencing maybe, it too. Yeah. Sure. I feel like it probably Ogden. was. Question thirteen. Question thirteen. What was the name of Severus Snape's mother? Oh. Oh. Yeah. I knew you guys it this. is. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah. No big <clears throat> whoops. One, two, three. Uh, Island Prince. Yeah. Why? Why did you? Why did you? I, yeah, yeah, I was like, wait, wait, was Prince her dad's, his dad's last name? Wait, no, that's Snape, duh. Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. Yes, Eileen, Eileen Prince. Eileen Prince. Eileen, Eileen Prince. Prince. Yeah. Yep. Eileen <laughs> Prince and Tobias Snape. Yep. A match made in confusion. Question 14. Mm-hmm. Who was the matron at the orphanage that Tom Riddle grew up in? Oh, no. Oh. It's always, the, normally they ask, what is the name of the orphanage? Which is which wolves? is Woolsworth or something? The wolves. I think it's just wolves. Just wolves. Wool. Not the Woolsworth. That sounds too fancy, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah that I grew up like with the Woolsworth. The Woolsworth. <laughs> 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 with Colonel Fumsh. Colonel Fumsh. <laughs> yeah. Not not that one. Um, okay. <laughs> it's... Ernie McMillan would go there. Would you like multiple choice? Us old D A um, lags. Us old, yeah. D A lags. Like it's, it's been a year, Ernie. Just because your dad hangs out at the country club on weekends doesn't mean you have to call everybody lags. <laughs> I would what? go. I would go. I would go multiple, multiple choice. choice. I would go multiple choice. Okay. A. Miss Cole. B. Miss Tompkins. C. Miss Babbage. Or D. Miss Jones. Okay. Yeah, that helped. I got it. I'm positive of it. Good. Yeah, ready? One, yeah. two, three, Cole. Mrs. Cole. Miss Cole. The gin drinker. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> like a Dumbledore, just like taking advantage of people's vices. For the greater good, man. For the greater good, oh, man. which was to say <laughs> the greatest evil, apparently. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> if only Dumbledore hadn't been abusing this woman's alcoholism, Tom Reynolds might not have ever gone to Hogwarts. So. Oh. Whose fault is it really? Dumbledore? Mrs. Maybe that can be one of our cocktails for Mrs. Cole. Jay versus Ben after dark is Mrs. Cole's gin drink. <laughs> it's, it's just, just, it's just gin. gin. <laughs> it's a pint of gin. A pint. A I pint. Know. They the, come in pints. The amount she drinks is like oh, it's like he's like Harry's like yeah, a bottle appeared and it's like the bottle was mostly gone. Then it was full again. You're like dude, but that's way too no much. No one is pounding the gin like that. Okay, nobody. nobody. Oh, it's too piney. Yeah. Uh, and now it's time for the fifth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Kelsey and voted on by patrons. All right, Kelsey. So this question, I believe, was mm-hmm. influenced by your other favorite question of trivia. Uh, what did Fred charge Fred and George charge Ron for the items he wanted at Weasley Switzer Weasley's? Uh, Hint, it did not include a trick wand. <laughs> uh, Would you like a hint? I'll take a hint. It does include galleon sickles and nuts. Canut. Is it canut? I think it's I think it's a canut. I just think that's dumb. Whoa! <laughs> that's so fighting sorry. words. I'm sorry, I just I bet you also do not approve of the knight bus then. No. Is oh. it the knight bus? It's absolutely the knight bus. Yeah, it's the knight bus. Canonically. Okay, sure. Can you believe this right now? <laughs> I can't even believe it. I believe in grammar of the English language. Hmm. Which, no, let's be fair. I don't. The English language is dumb, too. I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> that's a hot take in itself. <laughs> okay. I guess I have a guess. Throwing out my spiciest takes, guys. Okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said five galleons, six sickles, less one cannot. Less one cannot? No, uh, it is three galleons, nine sickles, one canut. Wow, we we both guessed like the really? same yeah. six, six, six. What? And you said minus one canut. Well, I said I I put dashes next to each. Oh, one. okay. Uh, because I think that he says, I'll knock off the canut. I'll knock I'll knock off the canut. Yeah, but okay. um, I I figured it would. I would have argued <laughs> that I knew that line. Yeah. And I was going off of the original price. 
oh, okay. administered. Wow, we're However, gonna let me guess the exact same thing. So it's three, <coughs> three, three and aliens, nine. nine sickles, one cannot. Three and Man. nine. No, I minus could've... one cannot. Or my, I don't know. Well, we can fact check. This that. is one where they do it different in the movie, and in the movie it's better. Where they're like, it's ten like, galleons. That's ten, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's like that's five galleons. Love your, your brother. Ten, ten galleons. galleons. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is better. It is better. Yeah. yeah. Five galleons. How much for me? Five galleons. I'm your brother. Ten, ten galleons. galleons. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. It's funny in those rare instances when the movie has like a line that's like, it's like, oh man. Now I need that to be the way yeah. that it yeah, works. Exactly. <laughs> that was better. You yeah. did it. You one up yourself. Uh, one could up yourself. <laughs> well, I, I will say, I feel like we did pretty darn good. Yeah, For the difficulty awful. described, the yes. Di yeah. And I won, which is even better. Yeah, sure. I was less pleased with that, that <laughs> aspect of it, however. It. As yeah, was yeah, most of the viewing audience. I think I just audience. suck at uh, Half-Blood Prince trivia. Apparently. And now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Big shout out to Bellity, Helen Sydney, Ben, Ben Henderson, Logan A, and Kelsey for all their awesome quiz master submissions today. If you would like to try to stump us with a question of your own, you can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the quiz master tier. Guys, as always, be sure to let us know how you did in the towel section down below. And if you want to see our full list of people we hate more than Voldemort, you can check out this video right here. But otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.